He needs to beat Wayne Price by at least two places to keep the South African out of the final. So Stasis has a role to play here as well. I'm sure Gary Taylor won't make life difficult for Wayne, so really it's all down to these two men. This is really another strength and endurance event, similar to the anchor pool. So all the odds seem to be stacked against these two men. I think they've been a bit shell-shocked at times in their first World's Strongest Man competition, but I'm sure that when the muscles have stopped aching, they will reflect and say it was all a fantastic experience. Well, Stasis seems to have got his second win here, and if he carries on like this, this is very bad news indeed for Roll. The Lithuanian has made quite a few friends here with his rugged attitude to competing with the world's best, but Roll, well, I'm not sure he's going to get a second win. He looks absolutely exhausted. 14 stones of soggy sand in a sack would normally be small fry for these men. But after the rigours of the other events and their efforts here, it must feel like a ton. So Stasis coming in for his last, Bernard needing two more. But I think Bernard may have given it up as a bad job as Stasis ploughs through the water to beat Roll. A magnificent effort, 129.69. And Bernard must know his chance of being a finalist is gone. So I'm sure these two will have worked out that they don't have to compete with Stasis Messius's time. Economy of effort is what's needed here. As long as Wayne Price completes four sacks, he beats Roll and goes through to the final with Gary, who qualifies even if he comes last in this event. So a bit of an anticlimax to the outcome of this heat but worth reflecting on two men in the final who've got a real chance of taking the major honours, given a little bit of luck. Well, the crowd here are still enthusiastic about this last event, and for these two, a gentle stroll in the afternoon. Having said that, who would want to go for a walk with a 14 and a half stone man on your back? And Gary there, just looking over to Wayne, even suggesting they might slow down a little. Gary, great friends with Wayne Price, who plans on opening a gymnasium sometime this year in his hometown near to the South African capital, Pretoria. He's very definitely under team orders from his more illustrious partner. If you saw these two wandering around Wandsworth High Street after a training session, you'd be amazed at just how big they are. Together, they're almost as heavy as the three men in the front row of the England rugby team. So this should be the last sack which will mean victory in this event for Lithuania, but a guaranteed place in the final for Wales and South Africa, and the teamwork has really paid off. At last, Lithuanian Stasis Messias gets the win he's battled so hard to achieve, but it was all too much for Bernard Roll, who comes fourth. In contrast to last year, Gary and Wayne delighted to be through. Bernard and Stasis putting up a good show, each winning an event. Congratulations, fellas. You're both through to the final. Gary, I assume there was a lot of uh, talking before you actually went out there to, to see exactly what had to be done. Yes, once again, uh, I could thank the draw for that. I wanted to beat was Bernard Roll, and obviously when Messi just beat him, I meant I was through. Took a lot of pressure off me. Um, we then talked, and I just kept along with Wayne. I needed to do four sacks. I a bit of company. Wish I hadn't. I'm knackered now. <laughs> uh, but... That was harder than it looked. It really, walking in water is not easy. Wayne, well done through to the final as well. And uh, maybe a, a word of thanks and a way to Gary as well, because I know he's been helping you quite a lot. Yeah, Gary has helped me quite a bit before the, before the contest and through the contest with a lot of advice. And I uh, much appreciate it. Cheers. Well, the pressure was on, but Britain's Gary Taylor and Wayne Price from South Africa now joined the defending champion Magnus for Magnuson and the Samoan Joe Onasai in the final. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.